Welcome back to the Cut Above Tarot, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Ooh, ooh, ooh Taurus. La di da 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 da. Ooh, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and other placements. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Taurus, if you moving and cruising, all is. Our views are appreciated. I messed it up, but we're going to keep it going. <laughs> oh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. And if you're considering becoming a subscriber over here to Cut Above Tarot, well, baby, sugar pie, honey buns, do not hesitate. Hit the subscribe button, touch that notification bell, and uh, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Yay, yay. Now, Taurus, Taurus season is coming up in a little bit. And it was put in my spirit to do a reading week by week for the season of Taurus, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're doing uh, a weekly reading, one through four, for Taurus and Taurus season. All right, your cards are already out. I'm trying to uh, make this as simple as possible where it won't take up a lot of your time and you will still have some time to watch something else if that's what you choose to do. Yeah, yeah. So let me get right on to it, Taurus. Taurus, I have some oracle cards from the Angel Ancestor cards and it says uh, Heart Guardian. Okay, it says Love and Let Yourself Be Loved. So, Taurus, some of you need to let go and let someone love you i mean let i'm sorry love and let yourself be loved okay the next card you got was the lady card and it says enjoy growth and reap rewards now if you know anything about spirituality as you begin to drop off some of the weights um or some of the things that was kind of weighing you down spiritually so, uh, every time you, you grow, you get more rewards, benefits, okay? Uh, spiritual benefits, okay? Yeah, you feel much better, lighter, and all of the above. All right, so let me tell you what we got here on week one. All right, week one is the sweetheart. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, I need a drink. Hold on. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so your first card is a sweetheart card. Now, either you uh, have met somebody and uh, they have tickled your fancy and you really see them as, you know, the one, somebody that makes you feel light on the inside, somebody that makes you happy, make you smile throughout the day, crosses your mind, run through your mind, who knows, fly through your mind, but <laughs> this person... You know, this person uh, ha has found a place in your heart, okay? Look like you may be the one that's, what, thinking about them, okay? And every time you think about them, your heart begins to flutter, okay? Now, <sighs> let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Got to figure out how to do this. All right. Okay. This is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, that's not going to work. Seven of Pentacles, okay? Seven of Pentacles means that you're working, all right? All right, you're working hard. You're watching your money, okay? You enjoy the fruit of your labor. However, in this deck, it says that this card means that you have some opportunities and some energies that you can access. They want you to assess your energies and your opportunities, okay? They also say that you have some tools that you can use, all right? All right, to embark on a new challenge, all right? So this this in this deck, it means that you have some some new opportunities that you can, you can move forward on, okay? And you got some new challenges as well. So it could still have something to do with your job, all right? However, you got the uh, yeah. You also have the judgment card. All right. Now the judgment card talks about there is a uh, a need for some change. Okay. 
there is some needs for some change okay all right and you're also going to get a, a divine revelation okay very soon okay and so they're telling you to accept what does not work for you and to prepare for change okay so whatever it is that's going on in your life in the first week of Taurus season, Taurus, all right, whatever it is that's not working for you, they want you to accept that, okay, and then prepare to make some changes, okay? Now, what I forgot to tell you, I guess I forgot, you know, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of hard covering up her booty, y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. So, uh, but they also saying if you're dealing with a new sweetheart, Okay, this person uh, is, is equal to you. This is an equal give and take. But they're saying that you got to be a little cautious about that because uh, you could either take something away or you can give something. All right. So they say you can take something away, whether it be good or bad, from this relationship or from a conversation. So stay positive. All right. All right. They want you to stay positive. This could be somebody that you met on a job, okay? Last but not least is your it's the nine of swords in this deck. Oh, uh, she ain't naked, okay? So we shouldn't have no problem with her. However, I still would do it like this. All right, so the nine of swords talks about restless nights, sleepless nights, fears, uh, nightmares, insomnia, okay, maybe confused vision. Okay, so if you got any confused visions going on, where you start seeing some gruesome stuff, you know, in your nightmares, uh, just try not to. This is uh, still in the week number one, Taurus. Try not to eat and go to sleep on, okay? Because going to sleep after you ate can uh, create uh, nightmares as well as sleeping with the television on. <laughs> yeah, because you be dreaming stuff that's in the television, okay? All right, so they also saying that uh, you need to get you plenty of sleep, okay? Be careful about how you indulge in, in passion because too much passion in this week can cause you to have some um, uh, fatigue, okay? You can become very fatigued, okay? All right, all right. So uh, preserve your rest time, all right? Your resting period, all right? Week number two in Taurus season, okay, looks like you got a letter coming in, all right, something that's going to come in, it's going to be brief, it's a letter, a text message, a telephone call, a email, okay, or maybe somebody just passed by you and say something to you, or a slide, a, a note in your hand, but you got something coming in, all right, all right, this is something, and, and this, it's coming in by a dove, so I take it that it's, uh, that it's peaceful, okay, all right, so when you get this letter, okay, all right, it's coming in from a Knight of Cups, okay, well, that's that's loving right there, that's some emotions right there, correct, all right, so I take this as a Knight person as being maybe somebody's young, a uh, person with youthful looks, uh, it could be a person with youthful ideas or somebody just dressed you young, you know, Okay, but it's encouraging. It's an encouraging message that's coming in. And what they're telling you is to follow your dreams, okay? They want you to regain your energy, all right, and trust. Trust in the future, okay? So that's your positive energy for the second week, all right? So, you know, that, that feels good, you know. I like that message myself. It made my heart kind of feel real good, you know. All right, for you, Taurus. All right, week number three. Yeah, that, I know it wasn't a whole lot, but that's that's enough to hold you, I believe. I believe this is going to be a very important message, and it's coming from somebody very significant. You know, somebody that you uh, cherish, somebody that you hold in high regard, somebody that you love, okay? All right, and remember, you got this card, one of the ancestor cards that said, love and let yourself be loved, okay? So you got somebody coming in. All right, that's going to bring you some words of love, and, and, and they mean it from the heart. Just want you to know that. All right, so week number three. Ooh, Taurus, week number three, baby. Mm, look like there's a baby, okay? Now, Taurus, you may have a baby. Um, you might be doing some babysitting, or you getting a message or a notification by the baby. And it could be that you're getting a letter, okay, or a notice or invitation or something pertaining to a baby. All right? Okay, however, the message that I got about this baby is that it's a boy. 
And uh, this baby's characteristic is nothing less than being kind. This is a very kind child, a very kind soul. All right, this child was conceived in pure love, and this child is a special child. And they say it's star child, okay? Now, the reason they say it's star child is because, I guess, because of this next card. All right? So the next card that came out said that there was an innocent. That, hold on, let me see. Anybody naked around this camp? Not really. Okay, but anyway, they say there that uh there was a, there was an inner satisfaction in the creativity of this child. Okay. They said also for you to make some wishes or make a wish on a star. All right. They want you to create a a peaceful environment around you. All right. And they also want you to give some new forms to your ideas. I'm sorry, new forms to your dreams. All right. They want you to change up the way you do some manifesting or how you manifest. They want you to try another way. All right. And by you doing that, that's how you're going to overcome some limits or some limitations that you've that you've uh, come, up, come up against when it comes to manifesting. Okay, they say by you expressing your unspoken desires, uh, addressing your own needs, okay, with confidence, right? And you'll be able to help others as well as yourself, okay? And that is, that's week number three, okay? Week number four, oh, Lord, girlfriend, boyfriend, my friend. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Somebody got a friend. I mean, an enemy. You got an enemy. Okay, this enemy is lurking and watching. As you can see, they not close to you, but they trying to watch you. They trying. They not close, but they close. Okay, they might be in your vicinity, but they they can't. They not at at your house or your apartment or where you work at. But this mother, father, fucker. Yeah, I know I was trying to be nice. But this 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 person is, you know, uh yeah, this this motherfucker just watching. Let me go and see it. I'm gonna get it out. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, this is someone who left you for dead, okay? Did you some dirty, okay, so to speak. All right. Somebody that didn't have your best interest at heart. Okay. Somebody wanted to play mind games and fuck games, so to speak. All right. Yeah, this this motherfucker uh, we just, I mean, just was, just, just was out there bad. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. Mm-hmm. You see she got her hand on top of the skull and she got a little blood on it. Well, let me tell you what they saying, baby, about that. Okay. They say, <laughs> they say the worst is over. Okay. It's the 10 now. They say the worst is over. Yeah, that's what I heard. They said, process the trauma. Process the trauma of change. Accept the new rebirth or the rebirth that comes afterwards. So I'm gonna, so they also said this is this is your enemy's this is your enemy's moment of transition. Okay. Now, as the king, they said, control your desires. Now, your desire is to cut this motherfucker up. Y'all, mm -hmm. cut him to the quick. That's your desire. Okay, so your desire is, is, is to uh, just go ahead on and put this person out there in misery. But they say, control your desire so that it doesn't prevail over your understanding and your wisdom. Okay, you you got to control this. I, I know you want to cut this mofo. You, you probably look at that big ass sword. You know what I'm saying? You already know if you sling that, if you swing that blade one time, you're going to cut them in half. And if you swing it up high enough, you're going to cut them off at the neck where they can't talk no more and keep all of that. that anyway, y'all already know. I'm trying not to get bent out of shape for you. All right. And uh, your overall energy is to just to be careful because somebody's going to be trying to anger you. It might be the same mofo right here. It might be the same mofo. You know how people nitpick and try to bring stuff, simple shit, you know, they're trying to come at you with. And you ain't trying to hear all that extra stuff. You you ain't got time to be listening to all of that, uh, uh, Taurus. 
You know, you got other things you need to be dealing with and tending to. That's long having somebody coming up and want to remind you about maybe uh, uh, anything. I mean, anything. And you may not want to disclose to this person nothing, but you already know. All right? You just got the, the alert. All right? The warning. You got an enemy. All right? Enemy could also be in your house, but just be watching. This motherfucker look like he's swole. Mm-hmm. Look like he mad because he can't get close to you. Okay, all I can say is buzz off, motherfucker, buzz off, be gone, oh evil one. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, all right, that's your your uh, reading for the month of Taurus for the Taurus uh, season, week one, two, three, and four. Uh, once again, I'm gonna ask you to please like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, get in where you fit in. If you don't find yourself in your own reading, please check your other placements, and I'll see you there too. Yay, yay.